Two years ago, on Christmas Eve, four men were killed after falling from a swing stage in Etobicoke. And that tragic incident, I think, shook everyone across Ontario. It was a hard message to hear, and certainly our, fam our grief uh, and our sympathies are with those families at this anniversary. And at the Ministry of Labour, we knew that we had to do something, and that tragedy was our wake-up call. And the Dean's panel report was a call to action. So our government accepted each and every recommendation in the Dean report on occupational health and safety. So thank you, Tony, for being so important a part of that important undertaking. From that we review, we were able to craft some uh, important new, uh, legislation, and Bill 160 is that legislation. It put in motion a thorough overhaul of Ontario's workplace health and safety systems. Included in that ex exper exercise and on Tony's recommendation is the appointment of a leader to shape and oversee occupational health and safety strategies immediately and in the long term. You know, after um, my first two weeks on the job, after going through intense briefings, even being sent out to uh, present at a conference on my third day on the job, which was tough, by the way, um, when I went home at the end of the week, my wife asked me, and my, you know, we're having a discussion, so what, what's it like? What's this job like, the changes in the job? And I said, well, you know, you've been piled on with briefing notes, you know, there's this complexity working in a new environment. But what really stuck with me is the knots I had at the end of the week when, I re you know, when it really resonates with you what this is about. It's about somebody getting up in the morning, taking a shower, having their coffee, giving their loved ones a hug and a kiss, going off to work and not coming back at the end of the day. So that, that's mind-bending. And I don't mind telling you standing here today, I have knots in my stomach talking about this because I realize the gravity of what, you know, what I'm doing here and what has to be done. But it's also created a resolve, the same resolve, and it puts a burning fire underneath you to make a difference. So I'm definitely committed, and it's magnified in my mind what this role is all about, and I'm not going to do it by myself. No one's sitting on the bleacher seats on this, as far as I'm concerned. Anybody who talks to me is coming into the game on this. If you want to have a discussion, uh, I don't want to know that I haven't called the right play. I want you in on the game, and I want you to participate. All stakeholders, this is too critical for anybody to sit back and say, this is how I think you should do it. If you think I should do it in a certain way, get involved.